Welcome back, people. We've got some more Fishing Planet for you guys here again today. We are back on iOS. Anytime I do live streams on Fishing Planet, I'll always use a face cam and mic for videos. I just randomly hit record. That's how we always get those awesome videos. And not only that, on iOS, I don't know how to add my face cam. <laughs> but I do on PC and on PS4. I do play on three different accounts now. So PS4 and I uh, play on Steam on PC. So today we are going to go into mud water. This is my rod setup. The line, I had the line in my home storage. Didn't even know that, so that was a result. So I used that six pound line and I brought the Creek Pro. And then I also brought the Inspire Cast uh, Reel. And I brought some hooks and I've got some different baits. So today my plan is to go to mud water and with a bit of luck, we can try, let's equip that. We can try, actually, let's change the hook first. Equip, there we go. We can try and catch ourselves a good amount of fish and hopefully level up. But another thing I need to do is I also need to buy a new bigger net because my net definitely isn't gonna be big enough for the, the fish are that little bit bigger compared to Lone Star, so. There you go, we got all that equipped. So that's why I got the rod set up. I also brought the rod bag, the two rod bags, so that way I can have two rods, and then there is the rod set up. Now, you don't have to have the same as me if you don't want to, but that's the way I'm going to be using it. That's the way I'm doing it anyway. Let's go to the shop. Um, so, yeah, I purchased the rod and stuff first beforehand just to speed up the process. So scrolling down, let's have a look. We have leveled up three times since the last time I made a video. I did say I'd do it every time I level up twice, but I literally just got a good sized fish just then and that made me level up. So uh, yeah, we are now three levels up. Okay, so this one, at the minute I can hold 2.2 pound, biggest fish and maximum amount of fish is uh, four point something pounds, so not very much. That one can hold seven and a half pound plus 22 pound total weight. This one can hold 5.5, .5, so a little bit smaller, but can hold a total fish weight of 26. So that I'm gonna buy that. There we go. That was 2,000. That was quite expensive considering as we don't have much at the minute. So we're gonna move along to our guy there, and we are now in our home and we need to scroll down to where the net is. It's gonna be, there it is. So we click take, there you go. So now we have that. Then the old net, we can either sell it, repair it. How much can we sell it for? 20? <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> okay, right. Um, so in the shop, I need to buy a little bit more bait as well. Some more, oh well, we've unlocked some some new baits as well. So that's good, small minnows. Uh, I'm gonna buy some cut bait. They're always a good thing to have for catfish. That's my plan. So there's mud water. So the travel cost is 1,200 and 200 to fish there each day. If I don't catch something, today if i don't and then that's gonna ruin it <laughs> but i will don't worry about that so is what i would do is i'm gonna fish here as well until i level up twice and then so we're gonna fish there where it's highlighted so yeah i'm gonna level up show you me catching a few fish here then i'm gonna level up two more times and then we're gonna make a video on 30 days fishing in this place see what free gift we get and then we're gonna move to the next lake i'm gonna progress through the whole game from lake to lake um yeah i'm just gonna keep on progressing through now there is um other ways to fish you don't have to fish in random rooms you can go in private rooms but for me i'm just i always fish random anyway up there on the top left it says day one next up there's a hand if you press that hand and then up the top it says rods rod stands go to rod stands i bought a rod stand because I'm now using two rods. So I'm gonna use one in my hand and put one down on the floor. And as you can see, that's lit up green. We put it down and then I'm gonna put the Creek Pro on that. And then I'm gonna be using the float rod. So if we press this little button here, as you can see, it changes from a target to a yellow X. We press that, that's how we can zoom in and out. And then we press cast. That one's a little bit messed up, but that one, if I'm honest. So 
Let's try that again. Okay, aim and cast. There we go, that's a bit better. That's the way it's supposed to be done, bubbles. Uh, then we put that down, and then we press that little hand up there on the top left again, and then we change to the teleflow. So now we've got that rod down there, and that rod I also brought a bell to put on there, so that way we can actually hear that. And then, yeah, I've got barbless hook hash one on there. We'll see how we do with that. Let's cast out our float rod, little flick, little flick there. And hopefully we get ourselves a little bit of catfish here. So the net that we did have, there is no way that I could have made a profit here because I know that some of these fish in here are two odd pounds and obviously they do get bigger, but at two pounds I could literally only catch two fish until my net would be full and then I'd have to change it. So not really much point in all honesty. Can take the tension up there a little bit more. Seems like I can take the tension up again. There you go. 4.2 pounds. I wouldn't have even been able to keep that, in all honesty. I definitely wouldn't have been able to keep that. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, that rod's going. So we're in a pretty good spot here by the looks of things. I can take the line tension up on there a little bit more. Wow, this one's really, let's put it on auto reel. This one's really fighting. Can I take the tension up more? Oh, no, I don't know. I don't know if it would break. I can't remember if I've got this one balanced or not. This rod that I'm using right now, this is the rod that you get for free in the game. Oh, wow. This one is proper running. This is, looks like the biggest fish that I've had on there. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm going to lose this one, aren't I? Yep. Okay. I, mm, I'm going to, when it gets to 120, I'm going to take up the line tension, whether it snaps or not. I'm going to take a risk on it. Okay. Let's take up the line tension. Yep. I thought it would break, in all honesty, but I had to, I had to give it a go. All right. I need to see what's... Oh, that cast was messed up. I need to see what um, what's making that snap. I think it could be the line, possibly. The line's not strong enough. We'll have a quick look at that in a second. Okay, let's put that down. All right, let's have a look, see what's making that break. I pressed the wrong button there. Back, there we go. All right, so go to inventory... What line is that? Okay. Um, so that's two pounds. I could put on four pounds on there. Equip. There we go. And then what reel was that? 2.75. Okay, so I should be able to... I should be able to put more pressure on it now. Okay, let's um, put another hook on there again. That was a shame. That would have been our new biggest fish right there. Well, technically not new biggest fish because I've had fish over 450 odd pounds on this game. But I mean, for iOS, <laughs> for iOS, it would have been our new biggest fish. All right, there we go. We got set. We got set. Let's see if we can try and get half a decent sized catfish. So I think mud water is a good place to come when you're a low level. Although Lone Star Lake, I really do like that place when you're starting off because it's free and you don't have to pay each day to jump to the next day. Whereas if in this place, obviously in mud water, it costs £200 a day, which isn't that much if you're catching fish, which of course you would be. But... um yeah, in all honesty, Lone Star Lake is, is is a really good one. You can jump to Pacific peak times and keep jumping forward. But this one is a, is a nice lake. You still get to fish, um, catch different fish and fish different locations and see different places. But yeah, anyway, after six years of playing this game, Fishing Planet, I'm still 
I love the hype. I'm, I'm always been the same. <laughs> when when those updates drop, I get really excited, like a kid walking into a sweet shop. The hype gets so real, and I've got quite a lot of hype for this as well. It being on mobile because it'd be very interesting to see me catch some some insanely big fish on on mobile compared to me playing on normally with a controller or a mouse, uh, mouse and keyboard. So yeah, be a definitely a completely different experience. And of course, obviously on the PC and on the console, you don't have auto reel on here on the mobile. You got auto reel. So I'm interested to see how well that's going to work out. Um, so far, so good, actually. I'm quite surprised that the auto reel isn't um, available on PC or console. Hopefully, they do bring that because that is an awesome little feature, auto reel. Saves you keeping your finger on it all the time. You can just click the strike button every now and again, and, yeah, it keeps reeling for you. So that's pretty cool. So anyway, this has been Mudwater, um, Mudwater River. Slowed down on this last little bit. Unfortunately, we didn't get that that big fish that we was looking for but anyway at least we had we, we had something oh hold on was that what about to go yep there we go i was gonna say at least we caught something even that weren't our biggest yet but i don't mind that that's cool okay so i think that tension is just about right on that rod there i can't really take the tension up much more than that there we go young channel catfish two pound it's not too bad. I'll keep on taking that all day long. There we go. Reset the cast. All right, so I'm going to level up two more times. And then once I do, I'll, uh, I guess I'll bring you guys back for the, for the next video. So that's what I'm going to quickly do, actually. Because I think, if I'm correct, press the right button bubbles, it, it helps. If I'm correct, I'm level 8, I think. Let's see. Yeah, level 8. Okay, so I'll bring you guys back when I'm level 10. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. If you've got any comments, do leave it in the comments section below. Of course, always try and fish hot spots. Hot spots are the best way. And because I am a low level, on the grind for the first time on iOS, um, barbless hooks is a good way to go. Now, if I use smaller hooks, I probably would catch the fish a little bit quicker, but I'm going to keep using barbless because it does give you that little bit more XP, helps you level up that little bit quicker. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. We'll catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I am out.